All right, guys, I've had a lot of requests uh, for a video on how to build these things. It's the smoke strobe hand grenade that I make. So here's what all you need. Uh, you need a couple of these. I'm using red. They're pull string smoke grenades. You can get them at pretty much any firework stand. They're about a buck fifty a piece. Sometimes you can get them for a dollar a piece. Peel off the sticker that's on top. And you carefully, sometimes it takes a little bit, take out the guts and leave that plastic part on it. It holds the striker for when you pull. Do that to both of them. And something that helps, you get a knife. just to identify what color you're going to use. Trim that up and split it down the middle. Don't cut yourself. Take one of these strobes. That's called the bestest strobe. They're I think a dollar, dollar fifty a piece. This whole build costs you about five bucks. You pull off this paper. So here's basically all you need to build it. Two of these, the guts of the smoke grenades, one strobe. I'm using masking tape because I'm out of electrical tape. Electrical, electrical tape works a lot better, but you can use masking tape, duct tape, whatever tape that will hold. And you might need about inch, inch and a half of any fuse, if the fuse on the strobe is not long enough. So first thing you do is make sure the caps are on these. You want to put the two pull strings together, close together like that. Get the strings out of the way and you want to tape these together. Just a couple times around will hold it. Then you go up to the top And around that little plastic part that holds your striker, do a couple times there. So now these are together. They're not super solid right now, but we're going to get there. Then you're going to take the color indicator, just the part that you got off the top of the grenade, slip it over the strobe. So that way you can tell what color it is if that's important to you. Now, most of the strobes normally have a bend in them, in the fuse, so get it as close to the fuse of the smoke grenades as you can. And then you take some more tape, Make sure the strings stay out of the way. And you tape that on there. So at this point, this is what it should look like. You got the two taped together and then the strobe on the back. Now you're going to take this little bit of fuse. And the easiest way I found to do it is poke it down in the hole with one of the strikers on the smoke and just lay it down to where it will either be touching or you can twist twist it in with the strobe like that okay get where you can see it and then you want to take your tape while holding that down go across the top and tape those fuses in place and go all the way around two times usually works and 
and just for extra security so the long tape doesn't come off. A couple times at the bottom. A couple times at the top. Now like I said, electrical tape works better. It doesn't burn as easy as masking tape and it holds better. So you may just have to kind of press this down a little bit. And then the last thing you want to do get the string out is you take the strings and you want to tie them together so that when we grab the rings and pull and make sure to set off both spoke at the same time and it also helps if you don't have fat hands like I do. Just a couple square knots. I usually do three or four just to make sure it's nice and solid. And then to use it, it's ready to go now. To use it, just put your finger through give it a hard yank. It may take you a couple times to do it. You'll be surprised how hard it is to pull. And toss it. And the smoke will go and it'll light off the strobe and you have a smoke and strobe. You can use it for escape, evasion, diversions, distractions, disorientation, whatever you need in a bug out situation or a shit hits the fan situation. And the purpose of this Yes, there are better products out there, but this is to give even the poor man an opportunity to have something homemade and tactical. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want any other tips or questions, feel free to ask.